Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to uh, run quick insights on our dataset in Power BI. So once we upload our dataset into the Power BI service, we can run machine learning algorithms on top of our dataset. Let's learn uh, how to use that and what it yields. So I've got this file open here with me. I've also uploaded this file to GitHub. I'll leave a link to the file in the video notes so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. And I've also got the Power BI service here. So at the moment my, my workspace doesn't have a, a report or a data set. So I'll just click on the publish button on the home tab on my Power BI desktop. And I'm already signed in. So for those of you who are not signed in, might let me just cancel this first. So you need to sign in so you can publish your report to the Power BI service. And you can see I'm already logged in. And let me just go to the home tab again. And if you're signed in, you can publish, otherwise you will have to sign it. So I'll click on the publish button and then I'll select on my workspace. And it will start publishing this report to the Power BI service. So as you can see, the report has been published to the Power BI service. I'll just go on and log into the Power BI service. So I'm already logged in and it shows me that my report has been uploaded and the data set is ready. So I can get click on the get quick insights button here, or I can go to the data sets. So I'll disable, cancel this out. And I can click on these three more options and click on get quick insights. And what it does is it starts running the machine learning algorithm on the data set. And now it gives me the option to view the insights. So I click on view insights. And it starts giving me a set of reports or whatever it's been able to glean on the in terms of insights on the data. So not everything is going to be useful, but let's just scroll through and see if something makes sense and we might want to explore further. So for example, it's saying that the sales amount by fiscal year is trending upward seems like an interesting one. So I can go and click on this. So I can either put it into the focus mode and the moment I put it into the focus mode, it gives me uh, a few other filters, like what all filters are there. I, I can add or remove so I can do some filtering if I want. Plus I can also do a insights on this. So I can again uh, click on this and say get insights and it will show me some related insights if there are any. And you can see it's telling me that the sales amount is trending upwards and it's by size range. It is giving me something tax amount is trending upwards, which makes sense. And then it's saying that bikes account for majority of the sales amount and so on and so forth. And then I can click on one of these and get insights on those visuals. And what I can also do is I can, let me just go back and I can pin this visual to a dashboard. So I can create a dashboard, say my insights dashboard. And I can pin it. And then I can go to the dashboard. And I've already got this visual. And by clicking on it, it becomes uh, comes into the focus mode and then I can get the insights on this one. And then I can go ahead and pin those insights. So um, maybe I'll just pin another one, which is slightly different. So I'll just pin this one. And then I've got the related insights to this one as well. So you can you can go through the data set and see what makes sense to you and you can create your own uh, visual, sorry, your own dashboard by running the machine learning algorithms on top of your data set and then doing a more focused insights. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.